But the man who helped to bring the Snowden leaks to the world's attention, journalist Glenn Greenwald, joins us now live from Brazil. How much do you think has actually changed in these reforms? There are some changes, some which are um, somewhat substantive, such as putting an actual advocate in the FISA court so that only not only the government is heard from or putting added restrictions on the NSA's ability to keep everybody's metadata. I think the problem is, is that the fundamental nature of the NSA that has created worldwide controversy, namely spying on people by the hundreds of millions without suspicion, will continue to endure. And that's why this debate has only started and not ended with President Obama's speech. Because all the activity will continue to be monitored. It will just be stored somewhere else. It will be accessible. Even the spying on foreign allies, uh, there is a caveat, you know, for, you know, unless there's an imminent threat. Um, so it's, it's difficult to see how much, you know, the Snowden revelations have achieved so far, isn't it? Well, they've achieved an enormous amount, for example, in American public opinion, in which people are far more afraid now of the government's attacks on their own privacy and civil liberties than they fear the threat of external terrorism. They also, the most recent poll shows, view Edward Snowden more as a whistleblower than as a traitor by an enormous margin. I think it's 27 points. And so what you're seeing President Obama try and do is tamp down that public furor over these revelations with some pretty gestures, some symbolic reforms, and I don't think it's going to be anywhere near enough for the American people to accept it, given what this polling data shows about how they now regard this out-of-control agency. What he seems to have done is turned a debate into whether the American government should gather data on everyone's communications into a debate about who should hold it. Yeah, I think that's a great point. That's what the U.S. government is trying to do. Is try, they're, what they're trying to do is to say, the fact that we as the government should have access to everybody's communications data, that we should be able to know who you've talked to, who has called you, how long you've spoken, that's just a given, they're trying to say. Don't even debate that. Simply debate who's holding this information. And the reality is, is that having a government do that, collect all of that information about citizens who have done nothing wrong is an extraordinarily radical and extremist idea. It's what science fiction writers 50 years ago used to write about when they warned of the surveillance state. And I don't think that tactic on the part of the government to turn that into some normalized, undebated assumption is going to succeed at all because people are very, very concerned about it. But he has also said that your revelations that you, 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 you did with Edward Snowden have potentially damaged U.S. intelligence operations for years to come. I mean, is that something Every you're proud single of? time, it's something I vigorously dispute. I'm extremely proud of the journalism that we've done. Every single time that there has been a report over the last 50 years in which journalists and whistleblowers revealed what the U.S. government was doing that they tried to keep hidden from the public, they've said exactly the same thing every single time. And every single time it's proven to be false, going all the way back to the publication of the Pentagon Papers by my political hero in 1971, Daniel Ellsberg. There's zero evidence that national security has been harmed in any way. What this has done is spark the first ever worldwide debate and reform movement about the need for individual privacy, about internet freedom, and about the dangers posed by an out-of-control surveillance state in the digital age. And I'm extremely proud of the role I played in, in helping to bring about that debate. Glenn Greenwald, thanks for joining us.